All right, Slackmaster fans, I think this is Clint Eastwood's first movie, Tarantula. Let's check it out. The movie starts with this fellow in the desert, and oh, he doesn't look right. He got up just in time to fall down again. That doctor on the left is Dr. Matt Hastings. It's Eric, all right. He was my friend for 30 years. You better come outside, Professor. It is acromegalia. But in every case I've ever heard of, it's taken years to produce the deformity. All right, what we got is a laboratory where they're making experiments to make animals bigger. The ultimate goal is to, uh, you know, work on population and food and making it larger, that sort of thing. And here's the star of our film, a giant spider. Animals, and something's happening to him. Meanwhile, the tarantula is busting out. This is Stephanie Clayton. She needs a ride. Well, you see, I, I was asking how to get out there, but, well, I wouldn't want to impose on you. No, oh, you won't mind. So they're riding out to wherever they're riding out to, flirting a little bit, and oh lord, the spider's getting bigger. The world may not be able to produce enough food to feed all these people. Now perhaps you'll understand what a, an inexpensive nutrient would mean. Well, we found an almost consistent instability in the material. Here's their make it big formula. One batch of nutrient varies sharply from the next. What do you want to try it on this time? One of the baby rats. Control that. We're ready for the ultimate test on humans. There mustn't be a mistake this time. How long does it take an ordinary rabbit to reach full growth? I don't know. Four or five months, I guess. He has one day that's reached maturity in six days. Six days? I know. It's we injected a baby rat this morning. Let's take a look at it. That baby's grown. This morning? It was a baby. Matt, I tell you, this morning it was a baby. I think the head scientist injected himself. Be it here or anywhere else. You didn't tell me it was confidential. I didn't think I'd need to. That will be enough, Miss Clayton. In the field, they find some cow carcasses, or I should say just the bones. I never saw anything like it. No footprints, no blood, no sign of struggle. The bones just drip clean like peeling a banana. All right, the tarantula is attacking now. Got a horse, and now it's got a man. Well, Dr. Hastings and uh, Miss Clayton check on laboratory guy, and he's a mess. Four. You know, there's more venom in this test tube than you'll find in a hundred tarantulas. You mean a tarantula that could secrete that much venom would be a hundred times larger than normal? Oh, at least that. What would you say, Doctor, if I told you I found pools of that venom? Four and five feet across. Two Meanwhile, the spider keeps growing bigger and bigger. It's now going to take out some power lines. And after it takes out the power lines, it's going to take out these two fellas. Shouldn't have stopped to help him. It even goes after houses. Coming, Matt, I can see you. 
Well, they devise a plan to blow it up. So they set up the dynamite in the row just as the spider's coming over the mountain. Once the smoke clears, it's still standing. So they call out the Air Force, and this is actually Clint Eastwood. It actually takes several shots, but this actually does it. And that's our film. All right, let's talk about Tarantula, put out by the uh, Universal Vault series. I think this may have been released on Blu-ray now, too, but I got the DVD. So here you go. I've had this movie taped in my collection since probably 1990 or so. I taped it off of, like, uh, I don't know, one of the channels. I don't know. But anyway, it's... a uh, classic 50s monster movie it's about a giant tarantula this big spider now scientists are working on um something to make animals bigger some sort of massive growth hormone so that they can you know inject into pigs and cows and whatever other animals that people eat so they can uh you know help uh feed the world as the population grows and grows and grows well things get out of hand they've already injected a tarantula for what reason, I don't know, because I don't think you're going to eat tarantulas, but whatever. I know in some countries they do, uh, in Asia. But anyway, um, I think, I guess one of the guys uh, injected himself. I'm not exactly sure why he injected himself, but he, like, started to turn into a tarantula. This is what it looked like, anyway. Anyway, he went crazy and broke up the lab a little bit, and the cage, or the glass encasing where the tarantula was, broke and the tarantula gets out and starts roaming the countryside well this thing keeps getting bigger and bigger and bigger pretty soon it's as big as the power lines it's attacking cows and eating them stripping them the to the bone attacking people killing them horses whatever eventually uh they figure out that yeah this is what's going on and we gotta try to stop this tarantula uh they get some dynamite from town set it up on the highway tarantula comes over the little mountain in the desert there um they try to blow it up it does absolutely nothing uh then they call out the air force and yes that was clint eastwood in that pilot's outfit there shooting at the tarantula and eventually with a bunch of it was almost like napalm i guess with a bunch of bombs being shot at it eventually they destroy it blow it up it burns and that's how our movie ends very quickly like that um that's it <laughs> giant spider strikes crawling terror 100 feet high that's what it says on the back there um clint eastwood by the way he made four movies in 1955 they were the first four movies he did revenge of the creature uh tarantula one of the francis the talking you movies i have those three movies actually and uh the fourth one i can't remember but who knows which one he actually filmed first i don't know but yep that was clint eastwood behind that uh uh little mask thing and outfit so anyway that is tarantula um i gotta say i actually enjoyed this movie it's cheesy it's uh like i said a classic 50s monster movie type thing but it was well done uh john ager plays the doctor there and the chick in this movie her name was uh, uh what was her name here i can't even read it it's too dark on the back of this box here but she actually was one of the very first playboy playmates so you can find nude pictures of her online if you're interested in that um but yeah this movie was fun it was well done it was cheesy like i said but they seem to uh, they did a good job making it. it. It didn't seem, it was obviously a far-fetched premise, but they treated it as if it was serious, and it was it was decent, so let's leave it at that. So anyway, that is Tarantula. Um, maybe it's streaming somewhere. I don't know. It's available on DVD, like I said here. Look, you can see it, and I think someone told me it was also available on Blu-ray. So anyway, I'll leave a link to whatever it is down below if you're interested in getting it. But yeah, if you're looking for a classic, fun horror movie from the 50s, this is a pretty good one to get. Pretty tame by today's standards, but it's fun. Check it out. Leave some comments. Let me know what you think about Tarantula. Watch it. Bye. I hate spiders, by the way.